Welcome to Engineering Studios. Instructions. No matter bridges and buildings, the vertical supports are always an essential element to provide the necessary stiffness and strength to resist the internal forces and guide them safely to the ground. Post. Column. Pillar. Pier. They are all referred to as the vertical support of structures. But have you thought of the differences among those? Posts are the vertical support to a lintel. For example, those vertical elements in the barrier, while columns is a more developed post and can take heaver duty to support beams or roof. Compared with column, a pillar is designed to bear the weight of buildings' roof specifically. It covers a slightly wider utilization than column, as except for the load-bearing function, it may also be used as a decorative element in standalone. Pair normally refers to the heavy-duty support elements, for example in bridges. The pair can be presented in the format of a column, it can also be presented in the format of walls. As an inevitable structural element, the architectural design of the vertical supports plays a vital role to present an elegant structure. In bridges, the aesthetics design is normally carried out by looking at the environment, scale, and character of the site holistically. Some bridges' piers are elegant for their simple forms expressing the flow of forces, while others are attractive for their slenderness. The overall geometry plays a big role in the architectural features. By contrast, the columns or pillars in buildings pay more attention on details. This feature is vividly expressed in the building blocks of Western architecture. Let's have a look at the three major classic orders, which are Doric, Ionic, and Corinthian. The orders describe the form and decoration of Greek, and later Roman columns. Those orders continue to be widely used in architecture today. The Doric order is the simplest and shortest, with no decorative foot, vertical fluting, and a flared capital. Ionic columns are taller and thinner, with a decorative foot and scroll-shaped volutes on the capital. Corinthian is the most complex order, which is tall and thin and features a decorative foot, volutes and acanthus leaves on the capital. Now, let's have a look at the classic orders in real buildings, you may be able to choose one correct answer among three. The tallest load-bearing stone columns in the world are those measuring of 21 meters high. In the Hall of Columns of the Temple of Amun at Karnak, opposite Thebes on the Nile, the ancient capital of Upper Egypt. The column length matters to structural design. From a structural point of view, the columns in the modern design are classified as the plain concrete column, reinforced concrete columns, steel columns and composite columns. Although design differs accordingly, columns are broadly designed according to their length, the short and the long column. Generally, short columns are columns that can be designed according to the load they can carry without considering their length. But, if the length of the column is significant compared to its lateral dimension, chances are it may fail in lateral buckling and can be designed as slender or long columns. In modern engineering, the tallest column is the pier supporting the Millau viaduct in Millau, France. The tallest concrete pier measures 244.96 meters from the ground to the road deck. That is all for this video. Subscribe us to keep updated. See you next time.